Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a unboxing from Fashion File. Um, I got a new little Chanel um, card holder and it just got here and I have been really, really wanting this color for a while. Um, so let's go ahead and open it and check it out. So it comes in this box right here. This one was in excellent condition. Um, I saw it on uh, the website and it was, I believe, 605. And I was like, no, I don't really want to pay, you know, 605 for the card holder because, you know, in the store there are 450. Even though with this particular color, um, it's not available right now. I just didn't want to pay that much over. But then it went on sale. So I ended up getting this for 500, which was a lot closer to 450. So I was okay with that. So let's see, it's coming in this pouch right here. It is purple, it is lambskin, it is so cute. Don't look at my nails, I need to get them done. Um, let's see what else is in here, I feel something. Okay, so it comes with a little fashion file tag. Now this is usually attached, but I guess with this one they couldn't do it. Um, and then it's also with the little booklet. Uh, this one was in excellent condition. It looks like really new. It comes with a little um, dust cover. And then I believe the little CCs are gold. They still have like the little stickers. So I know it kind of looks silver in this video but I'm gonna hold it up because this leather is just so soft. And then, okay, there's the authenticity card. Now, I have seen or heard that they are no longer making authenticity cards with the Chanel wallets. I'm not sure if that's true or not. Um, I don't know, maybe they stopped. I know that the bags don't come with it anymore. Um, or maybe no they have like they have like a new one like a new code that's just my, I have a boy bag and it's like it's metal in there and it doesn't have like the card holder I mean it doesn't have the um the actual uh sticker anymore so it's just like this little metal piece with a code so they, I think they're just they're just doing things different now but uh yeah this is it it's really really pretty um i wanted something that didn't have the snap one because i have a snap one and everything i have is like mostly black so i really wanted to get a color and i just thought this was so pretty and i felt like i can use it all season all fall um you know all the seasons fall winter spring summer i thought it would be great so i went ahead and got this one this is the first time that i am seeing it in person um I'm one of those people who, you know, when you get something and like the plastic's there, you just leave it. You don't peel it right off. I know some people in their videos, they're like, oh, just got it off, off, off. No. Um, so I don't know. It's probably part of like my OCD, but I'm probably going to leave it on there. Um, and then just, yeah, start putting my cards in there. I don't know where my wallet is. I have to find it and then I will start sticking them in. But, uh, yeah, let's see. Actually, I'll grab my, um, card holder and we can see, um, you know, how many cards, how many cards fit. Okay, so I got my little black one right here and I do have quite a bit of stuff in here. So yeah, it's pretty thick. And then I have my driver's license there. So this one's just, you know, the big pocket and then the little one. So, and this I don't usually use, I have a quarter back there and that's it. So yeah, all right, so let's see if all these things fit in here. Okay, so we'll put the driver's license We'll do another card in the middle. Now, I'm probably not gonna leave this card in here. I'll probably leave it in the box. Okay, so we're on the second card in the middle. We'll do a third card in the middle. I don't know. Okay, <laughs> we'll do a fourth card in there, and then I'm gonna start going to the back. So I'll put another card back there. And then I do have some business cards, but I think I'm gonna, not do those till the end if I have room. Okay, so let's see. Another credit card, so we'll put that in the back. Okay, so now I have like one in each. And then let me try to stick another card in the middle. Okay, so it's looking pretty, pretty filled at the moment. I have one card left, it's my debit card. It does fit in the front. 
I feel like it does, it does get puffy and then you have the middle out like that and I still don't have um, the authenticity card in and then what else was in there was this stuff. So I had the rest of these cards that were in there. So I'm not gonna put that stuff in. I'll probably just put that maybe like in the little pouch I have. This is probably as thick as I wanna go because otherwise I think this is gonna start stretching right there. But yeah, it does hold everything. I feel like it, that's a pretty good amount of cards. So let's see, I have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine cards, you know, I feel like eight to 10 is what you're gonna end up being able to put in here. You know, if you wanna keep it super simple, I would probably just do like five and then it'd be like, you know, super lightweight and wouldn't, you know, it already, it already kind of has that little hole there. So, I mean, it's already kind of like a little stretched, so that's fine. But yeah, it does fit, you know, all the nine cards that I actually use and need, which is nice. Um, if you want, you can stick like some cash in there, but I don't know how secure I would feel unless it's like pressed up against the other cards. So I think this is just perfect for like a few far cards. That if you want to put a few cards in and you're going out and you just have a small bag, this is perfect to stick that in or in your pocket or in a jacket. Uh, I have tried now now I have this one here. I have tried to put this like in my leather jacket pocket or in like a tinier bag and it takes up a lot of space. So the goal was to try to get something a little smaller that was not gonna take up as much space. And since it's a lot flatter, I feel much better about this one. So yeah, I just think this color is just, it's so pretty. If you guys have any questions about this little card holder, um, please feel free to ask. I know it's hard right now in the store to find um, the particular color that you want. I think it always has been. Uh, I did talk to my essay at Nordstrom's a couple days ago, and they informed me that you can no longer call um, and get a wallet or something from the Chanel boutique uh, sent to you. You have to come in the store to purchase it. They can't hold it for you. Uh, I used to be able to just call there and say, hey, like, can you send me some pictures of what's there? And now if they do that, like, you have to go in and buy it. So there's a chance that before you get there, someone else can come in and purchase it. So that's the story with that, which I, you know, makes me feel like, okay, well, if I go on Fashion File, I can kind of search for the color I want. They'll have more of an availability. But just keep in mind that the prices may be a little bit higher than when you go to the boutique. So I feel like you really have to, you know, shop around in there because they have card holders that are ranging right now from maybe $400 all the way up to like 900. It's, it's really crazy. I think it just depends on like um, the year that it came out. Uh, it depends on the color. So, you know, you really have to like watch the color you want and wait for the particular one. So yeah, but that's that. Um, it is super cute. I am excited to use this and uh, yeah, any questions, just let me know. Thanks for watching.